Hi guys, Kurt here. Today I'm going to talk about something pretty interesting. I think you're gonna love it. Let's have a preview of the newest carbon fiber scooter. It's gonna be the brother, the big brother of this guy. first thing that is going to be different is going to be the number of motors on the scooter. So the newest version is going to have a motor in the front and in the back. The second update is going to be here. There's going to be another kind of a suspension on the new version and it's going to have a bigger and better suspension than this guy. The third important update has to do with the batteries. As you know, these S3, S2 models, they have a uh, battery pack built into the carbon fiber pole. But because of the fact that the space is very limited, they can put about 28 of these batteries. They move actually the uh, battery pack from the carbon fiber pole under the deck. There's gonna be 40 of these uh, cells, so this will give a nominal voltage of 36 volts. And there are a couple of other updates, like the folding mechanism, the lights, uh, also the screen. So let's get into the details. Let's go and have a look at the specs. Okay, when you look at the uh, specifications, the size is more or less the same. So it hasn't changed much with the size. Uh, of course, because of there's gonna be more batteries, you can see that the weight is going to be higher. So you get a, a heavier scooter. It's going to be about three to four ki uh, kilograms more than the S3 model, depending on the uh, um, version you currently have. If you're talking about the 10.4 uh, amps per hour, it's going to be more or less about uh, four kilograms more than the uh, previous version. As you can see, the maximum load has increased too. So this scooter is intended for heavier people, uh, people who have a weight up to 150 kilograms and that's because of the power that you get. You get more power of this uh, scooter because of more batteries. Um, the maximum speed has increased too, so you get probably about 35 kilometers per hour. Let's say you'll get by average 30 kilometers per hour, which is about 7 to 8 kilometers per hour faster than the S3 model. So that's not too bad. Um, you will also be able to control whether you want to use the uh, front motor only or the front and the back uh, motor of the scooter. So you will have more power and this is going to be very important because it's going to be a very much more powerful scooter than the S3 model. You will be able to climb um, certain hills much easier. Uh, even if your weight is going to be higher. So that's very, very important. It's going to be promoted as a, the most powerful carbon fiber scooter out there. Because of the fact that there are, um, I would say, cables coming from the deck to uh, the scooter itself, the front wheel, you will not be able to have a 360 degrees turning angle on the front wheel. It's going to be limited to 45 degrees to the left and to the right. And as I mentioned before, there's going to be a new shock uh, absorption system of the scooter. So there's going to be a better shock anti-shock system in the front wheel. Uh, so basically the power uh, is going to be higher because you're going to have two times uh, 250 watt uh, motors on there. But also because of the higher voltage, you get the higher speed. So very important. The current is going to be more or less the same as the S3 model and it's going to have about uh, yeah, 10.4 uh, amps per hour. Uh, as you can see, there's going to be also a speaker and this uh, speaker actually is the buzzer. So if you're driving with the scooter, you will be able to alert people in front of you. And that's why this uh, front, they call it peaker, it's going to be a buzzer, is going to be used for. So as you can see from the picture, uh, you can see that the front light has changed as well. So they reverted back to the previous uh, front light, which is much more powerful than the one of the S3 model. 
I personally loved the S2 model uh, front light. So when we look at the uh, scooter itself, uh, it has the same design as the S2 model, but um, it will have a little bit different kind of a lightning in the front and also there's going to be lights at the handlebars when you're going to drive with the scooter it's going to turn on automatically so that's good better visibility for the people out there when they're driving at night and especially also for the traffic that are passing you uh, on the side of the scooter here you can see how the uh, display is going to look like but i have different kind of displays they actually uh, give me pictures from and videos from. This is the first one I got. Uh, let me show you a little video. Uh, this is the second uh, kind of a display that I got uh, from the manufacturer. I hope it's going to be this display because I like this uh, version. It's more colorful, it's more beautiful and uh, I think it's going to be more bright also in daylight. So I hope this is going to be the display. Now just have a look at the rest of the scooter. As you can see, there's going to be different uh, colors, but you can also see that how the deck look, will look like uh, when we have the batteries uh, under the deck. And this is the front wheel suspension, how it will look like. I don't know what that particular metal thing is used to, but I assume that it's a supplemental shock absorption system. So you're going to have a nice shock absorption system out there. So, um, very interesting how the uh, shock absorption system is going to work. Um, the lights, well, there's going to be also some kind of a uh, light on the back of the scooter. Uh, I think it's also going to be a stop light. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be connected to the rest of the scooter. So, maybe I'm wrong about it. So, we'll see more in details when uh, I will be able to put a hand or get a hand on, my, on, on the model itself. Um, also, one more thing, if you look at the front wheel, there's also going to be a, a water splash cover, if you can call it that way, at the front wheel. So, uh, this is good because with the S2 model, uh, I had to keep my foot in front of the folding mechanism because the water was splashing on my uh, jeans and on my pants and uh, keeping my foot in front of the folding mechanism was the only way uh, to actually avoid being uh, wet at the end of the drive at my feet. Now, as you can see, also the folding mechanism has changed and it seems that the folding mechanism seems to be much more stronger built, uh, resulting in a much, much, much better uh, folding mechanism as we had with the S2 model and I think it looks much more uh, solid and sturdy than the one that we had on the S2 model. And as you can see, there are some cables coming out of uh, the folding mechanism to the front wheel. And that's why you will not be able to have a 360 degree rotation uh, availability on the front wheel. So uh, this is a little video I got from the manufacturer where do, they were doing some pre-release tests and some tests with the uh, uh, controller itself. As you can see, another display, so don't shoot me. We'll know by the time that the scooter will be released which kind of a display they will actually be using on the final release. And as you can see, they have simulated the three buttons that come under the uh, uh, display itself with the display. And you can see there's one wheel spinning at the moment, uh, one motor is spinning at the moment. And you get uh, approximately 18 kilometers an hour on the first gear, uh, approximately 24 on the second gear, and about 36 on the third gear. As you can see, they're uh, doing the tests with the dual drive where the front wheel and the back uh, wheel engine or motor is spinning at the same time. So you will be able to control this uh, through the um, controls of, this, of the scooter. And uh, this is going to be neat because also when you're going to brake, you're going to have a double brake uh, with uh, the dual drive. So resulting in a much uh, faster braking mechanism that you have on the S2 model. 
Um, as you can see, when they are braking, uh, the light spinned on, uh, the, the back light, or I would say the uh, rear uh, light. And this is how the front light is going to be. So it's going to be much more powerful than the uh, S2 uh, model, uh, which I think uh, is better on the S1 model. So this is another picture on how to look like in the from the front and uh, how the deck is going to look like. So that's uh, how and what I can show you from uh, the uh, scooter. Um, now let's just talk about uh, what I'm thinking of doing. I'd love to actually uh, buy uh, a pre-release version. I hope that the company is going to allow me to buy just one piece. Uh, this is just a manufacturer, so they don't want to actually sell one piece. They, the minimum order quantity is much higher, and depending on uh, how many people are interested of you guys, I am willing to spend some money and let them come over to Europe and distribute them from here. So this is where the group buy um, I'm interested in doing with you guys. If you are interested in buying this scooter, what do you think about it? Just let me know first of all if you see some things that you don't like, uh, if you see things that could be improved. But I just want to know from you as a YouTube subscriber if you are willing to spend the money for this kind of a scooter. Now, as I told you, it's going to be the most powerful scooter. So I see a market. I see a market for the S2 model, but I see a market also for this particular model where it's uh, much stronger, it's much more powerful. Uh, you can use it in hilly areas. And also, if your weight is more than 70 or 80 kilos, uh, you will be able to use it as well. Because I think the S2 model, the uh, single engine, is a little bit too light, especially if you live in hilly areas and if you have to climb certain hills. And also, it's a little bit too weak uh, for people with a heavier weight. So if you are have a have a weight of a more than a hundred, let's say uh, 70 or 80 kilos, um, I don't think the S2 model is a good uh, model for you. So what do you think? Are you interested into it? Um, I'm looking at the price tag of about 600 to 700 euros. I know it is much more expensive than the S2 model, but you can see from uh, the preview that the uh, new version, this S4 model or whatever it's going to have as a name, does have a much, much heavier construction, does have many more batteries, you get two engines, so it's going to be the most powerful out, uh, out there of the carbon fiber scooters. Maybe the weight is going to disturb you, it's much more heavier, but you know, when you fold it up, you get the same size as the traditional S2 model. So please let me know if you are interested in buying this scooter, what do you think about the price? There's one more thing that I want to tell to you. If I start to buy these scooters, I will give full support to my customers as far as repairs is concerned. The warranty is a warranty that comes from the manufacturer. But if there is an issue with the scooter, uh, I am, might go to China and I might just go and visit the factory. And the reason why I want to visit the factory is because I want to know if these guys are serious guys. That's the first thing. The second thing, I want to be able to get some trainings on how to debug any issues on the scooters and how to repair them. If I will be able to repair them, it means that you can fall back on my services uh, on the repair of the scooter. So that's uh, one of these very important things that probably withdraws people from doing a purchase on AliExpress and buying them straight from China. This means that I will probably only do repairs on these models, not on other models that you might have bought on uh, uh, AliExpress unless, for example, FLJ, they come to me and they ask me, okay, Kurt, can you do the repairs on our scooters for our customers here in Europe? That's another story. I, I, I need to discuss this with these guys. Uh, it is also for me, uh, impossible to find spare parts here so I also need to order them from China um, so that's about it I just want to know what is your idea uh, about it if you're willing to spend this amount of money uh, if I get like maybe 20 or 30 or 40 people sending me a message in the comments so you know yeah right here that's where you need to subscribe 
but also right here is where you need to write some comments and let me know if you're interested into these uh, carbon fiber scooters yes or no if the price is too high uh, I know the price is going to be higher but we have to face also the fact that I probably have to pay uh, import duty taxes transportation to uh, Belgium etc so if you are living in Belgium it's gonna be very easy you can even come to my home if there is a repair that has to be done if you're living outside of Belgium I also need to still ship the scooter to your place and if you're living abroad uh, we need to keep in mind that there's gonna be a supplement cost for shipping the scooter to your country so I'm focusing basically on the European market okay so as I told you please hit the subscribe button please give me some thumbs up so I can put it get a little bit higher in the ranking of uh, um, YouTube and please also uh, if you can uh, share this video with other people who might be interested in this particular scooter uh, one final thing, the manufacturing or the manufacturer told me they're going to start producing this scooter around the 15th of this month. So I'm trying to get this video out before the 15th so I can get your thoughts. Thanks, thumbs up and see you soon again.